Hey, what up, y'all? It's me, your boy, Lil D, coming at you live from the den. And today, I'm going to be talking about when I got LASIK done, which probably was about, at the beginning of the year, eight to nine months ago. So, I got it done at the Phoenix LASIK Vision Institute here in Scottsdale, Arizona. If you've gone there, then you know what this green packet is. Keep all your stuff in there and bring it to your visits. I pretty much went with this place because I had a group on and it was a good deal compared to the other places that I was looking at. So I used my group on, I got my LASIK done, and now I can see it's nine months out and uh, I wake up every morning. I don't have to deal with contacts, peeling them off at the end of the day, eyes watering, none of that. And it's something I don't even think about anymore because I'm just so adjusted to it. When I did use contacts for years, years and years, glasses for years, I was nearsighted. I could see up close, not afar, but now I could just see everything. I mean, if I'm staring at a computer too long, which happens, I do get a little like, whoa. But other than that, my vision has been great. I wanted to talk about the LASIK Vision Institute overall, my experience. It was a nice place over in Scottsdale, a smaller type waiting room, two girls working the counter. I'd go in, they would smile, go have my checkups. They gave me all the information up front that I needed. One thing that I didn't hear till the end, though, was about these eye plugs and eye plugs sounds weird. I never heard of them, but prior to having my LASIK done not too long before I was having it done, they were like, are you going to get these? And I said, what are these? They're little plugs that go in your eyes right here. If you normally have dry eyes, then it's to help your recovery. But I don't think I needed it. They all said I needed it, but I think they were just trying to up the price. It was $400 for these little plugs that go in and dissolve, and it really just feels like you got something stuck in your eye. It's kind of irritating. Like something just stuck down here, and you want to go like this, but then you will kind of push it out. So, of course, I'm paying so much for Lasix, and I mean, it was affordable, but you are paying a lot, and you want it done right, and they're saying that you need these, and I did some research online, and I guess they're not bad, but to be honest, I couldn't tell the difference. I mean, I didn't not have them, but I don't know what it'd be like if I didn't have them. So that's something to look into prior to getting LASIK. And then when I went and got my actual procedure done, it only lasted like a minute. The waiting process for that day, me and Zach sat there for a couple hours to get in. And there was a huge group of us. And they were just like slowly pushing us through all these phases where they do the eye checks and sit back down and come check you again, sit back down. So the actual procedure only lasted about a minute. I didn't get any medications. The only thing that they gave me were some numbing drops in my eyes and they literally gave those to me like a second before they started. So if you're super anxious, um, if you get really nervous, it was a really trippy experience because they are feeling this flap off of your eye and then you got to keep your eye open and not move while your eye is watering and you got this solution in your eyes and you're like whoa and everything just goes black and blurry and then lights and then you just see them like it's the weirdest thing it's like you're out of your own body you see the pull the flap smack down of your eye and kind of just polish it and that was a really weird feeling of course I couldn't drive home they wanted me to keep my eyes closed the rest of the day which was fine because my eyes felt so tired after that and I just ended up going to sleep. I recovered pretty fast because I had a couple meetings. The next day I had the meetup to, for them to see how I was doing. And some of the other people that I saw the day before, their eyes were just like watering. They were like crying. I'm like, oh my gosh, I drove myself here. I don't have any of these symptoms, thankfully. So maybe they didn't get the eye plugs thinking about it. But 
who knows? I didn't talk to them. A week later, I saw some of them again, and they had sunglasses on, and I was just walking around like normal. No, I mean, I wore sunglasses outside, but inside I wasn't wearing them anymore. I feel like my recovery was pretty good. As for the people who are working there, they were really nice up until I got the LASIK. So they were nice providing me information. It was a free consult. They were nice about getting me scheduled and all that. But then my follow-up visits were just, they would check my eyes, say you're good, and I would leave. And then they'd make my next appointment. And they wouldn't say very much. The doctor would say, do you have any questions? And I said, well, no. How do my eyes look? He's like, oh, they look fine. You'll be having 20-20 vision. And I said, okay, uh, I don't feel like I have 20 20 vision. But he's like, well, you will. And that's just kind of how all the visits went. I met up with them at six months. He said, that's fine. Do your eye drops daily, twice a day before bed and when you wake up. And I'll see you next year. So I don't know if I'm going to go see them next year. It's not really, they're not really telling me much information. Of course, those little checkups are free. They're part of the whole package, but I have my own do eye doctor, so I think I'll go see him. Overall, it's not a bad place to get it done if you're thinking about getting your eyes done. Um, I don't have any seeing problems prior. I, I was nearsighted. Nearsighted? Yeah, I was nearsighted before, but I didn't have any other issues with my eyes. So maybe that's why my whole procedure went very well. If you've gone to the Phoenix LASIK Vision Institute, let me know down in the comments below. If you have any questions about what else happened there, you can ask me because when I was looking for information on this place, I couldn't find any. And I usually look at YouTube videos to see someone's opinion because I like listening to people's opinion. I don't like reading articles from journals or anything like that. I like hearing real people talk about their experience. And that's my experience getting my eyes lasered. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.